Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I forgot to put, but this is the 10th day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the 10th day of the 14-day full liquid fast. God is good. Come on, somebody. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what the devil's doing. I don't care what he thinks to do. God says that he is still God all by himself. Let him be God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Glory, glory, glory. Well, I have a mini Bible study, as I have promised you, about every day of the fast, and I also have have something you know and again I'm gonna do a little disclaimer just because God presents something to me doesn't mean you have to follow along unless you are led by God but I am gonna go ahead and do a disclaimer because <laughs> and I knew I knew but you know how I was playing it safe for you all but I understand that you see this anointing this walk this destiny we all process differently right so with that being said let me get to the point um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to just do 14 days. I'm going to have to go to full 21 days. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm cool with that. God is taking me somewhere. And I, I kind of knew it, but he was doing baby steps with me, you know, because um, that's just the way God, God does. So those that you feel that God is leading you, fine. Those that don't, just stick to the 14-day fast. Don't try to do anything that you're not supposed to do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But I just want to let y'all know, so I'll probably keep on going with the Bible study, which is ironic because the prophetic class starts on the 12th, so that means my 21 days were in on the 11th. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? He getting me ready for them demons and them warlocks. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't, let me tell you something. They've been messing with these lives, but I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you right now, Father God, I come to you, Father God, I sever every demonic de demon, every demon that um, is in this computer, Father God, everything that tries to come against this live in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus by the presence of God, by the holy fire of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say, Satan, you, you have no authority. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You have no authority in the earth room. Get up out of here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, 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 hallelujah. So let me get to my title. And God says, in this season, I need you to hear me very clearly, because I've been, let me tell you something. <laughs> something is happening to me, and, and you all are getting to witness it. I don't act like y'all don't see it, because I feel it. I'm going through a metamorphosis. <laughs> Hallelujah, and I feel it, and I tell you one thing, God is doing something, but I ain't the only one, there's this remnant that is going through it, that's why the shift, you don't understand what he's doing, he's getting you ready for 2020, because revival is getting ready to come, the power of God is getting ready to come like never before, he said, get out your feelings, get out your emotions, get out of it, that's why I want to talk about Judas, hallelujah, the spirit of Judas, let me tell you what's been happening, and that's why the church ain't got no power, we didn't allow the the world to come into the church and now we are greedy i, I just got to, i want this thing how god want me to very selfish everybody want money you'll do anything for money even christians i'm just being real with you always trying to get over come on somebody hallelujah i'm talking about let me give you an example let's say you're selling a book at ten dollars well you know all i got is 7.99 sister it's ten dollars would you go to the grocery store and get something and tell them, you know, all I got is seven ninety nine, dollars knowing it's $10? Don't play with me. I'm going to tell the truth up in here. So let me get to my point. God told me to tell you that Jesus needed Judas. <laughs> Say, kiss me, Judas. I'm telling you, Jesus needed Judas. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to walk this thing out. Let me slow myself down. Most of you are in your Judas season. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why David says, I'll bless you. That's why God told David, he said, I'll bless you in the presence of your enemies. Most of you are trying to get away from your enemies instead of sit down. Oh, hallelujah. Sit down, prepare, let him prepare that table and hush your mouth. Hallelujah. And pray for your enemies. He said, bless them in the name of Jesus. You ought to start blessing instead of cursing them. Because don't you understand when you bless them, he says, I heap coals of fire over their head. Oh, come on, somebody. And God bless you even more so. You see, y'all getting mad. You're getting mad and you're speaking. God said, no, 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 because now what you have done is taken authority from God. And God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So you got to just sit there. I'm talking about with tears in your eyes, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's a co-worker. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. This is the spirit of Judas that's on this land in this hour. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Oh, come on, somebody. They can't help it because Judas was supposed to do what he was doing. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't you know being God that he knew everything was going to happen? 
He picked Judas on purpose. He picked 11. He said, but one go fall, and then I'm going to get 12 again. He said, but I need that one. Hallelujah. Because he's going to push me into my destiny. Oh, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to walk this thing up. Let me tell you why he needed Judas. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, remember he, he, he got a little overwhelmed. Like, like some of us do. Come on, that's process. That's life. I don't care. I'm a strong person. But there are some times that I have tears in my eyes. I'm talking about y'all may not see him. Oh, come on, somebody. But there are some times I say, God, if this cup could pass from me. But nevertheless, thy will be done. And that's what Jesus did. So God said, okay, okay. Now, that's why I, cho I chose Judas. Because he going to help you. Push you into your destiny. So let me walk this thing out. I'm in. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I am in Matthew 26, 21. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. God will tell you who about to, who, who's about to betray you. And some of y'all, y'all will miss y'all blessings because y'all, y'all, well, they better get away from me. No, 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 no. You need their presence. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. They're going to make you pray more. They're going to make you fast more. They're going to make you love more. Because God will tell you, I know they're doing it. I know it hurts. I know you really want to. Can I be real? Y'all know we wasn't always saved. Back in the day, you'd have been like, ha, ha. don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. But in this state of the game, in this part in your life, you got to do like Jesus. He humbled himself and opened not his mouth. So let me continue. All right. Now I'm going to Matthew 26, 22. And they were exceedingly sorrow. Well, I'm sorry. I went too far. I went too far. And they did eat. And verily I say unto you, he said, that one of you should betray me. And then verse 22, he says, and they were exceedingly sorrowful and began one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? Verse 23. Matthew 26, 23, and he answered and said, he that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. Come on, somebody. God will give you dream. God will give you knowledge. God will give you a beforehand. But here's the thing. God is God. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to work that thing out. Just hold on. Let me finish these. Matthew 26, 24 says, the son of man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It is good that man had not been born. Can I tell you what God told me to tell you? Y'all sitting up there getting mad at him. No, no, no. Because God says that hallelujah, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. It is woe unto them that do that to you. So you ain't gotta do nothing but sit down at the table. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk that thing out with you because it's not always easy. It's easier said than done because, come on, especially when it's to your face. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Especially if you ain't fake, then you don't like fake. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So when it's to your face, oh, you really got to, you really got to, you really got to depend on the Holy Ghost. You really got to ask God, calm me, keep me down. Let me keep my composure. Hallelujah. Because that stuff be real. Because in your mind, you be wanting to do other stuff. But in your spirit, God say, I will handle this. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me continue. So Matthew 26, 25 says, Then Judas was betrayed him, answered and said, Now notice, they will even tell you. Oh, come on, somebody. You ain't got to be a prophet. The presence of God, the spirit of truth, and make them tell on themselves. Isn't that what's happening these days? Y'all sit up there worrying about all that stuff that's going on. Just sit back and watch, said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The words. Because remember, in the beginning was the word of God. And in the end, it's going to be the word. It was words that built this. Hallelujah. The heaven and the earth. Come on, somebody. It's words that you justify. It is words that you condemn. And it is words that you live by. Don't you worry. The word will let it be known. Oh, come on, somebody. Their word. So he going to say, this fool going to say, I'm going to call him a fool because he was a fool. Then Judas, because God gave him a chance to change. Oh, yes, he did. That's why he chose him. Don't you think God knew that he was no good from the gate? But guess what? I, I, I'm going to let that thing that you, because all he wanted to be the treasurer. He, he loved money. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere because some of you love money. Some of them love money. That's why they do what they do, how they do what they do. Oh, come on, somebody. How to do? And God said, I'm going to give you that thing, and I'm going to let that thing destroy you. I'm telling you what God said. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. So let me continue. Matthew 26, 25 says, Then Judas was betrayed him, answered, and said, Master, is it? I, <laughs> he said unto him, thou hast said, oh, hallelujah, you ain't got to act ugly. If you, you, if you really want to call him, I say, say yeah, I, I know what you're going to do. You, you, you could do it subliminal. That's what y'all do anyway. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But do it with love. Yeah, I, I know you got to do what you do. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me walk this thing out. Matthew 26, 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to all the disciples and said, take, this is eat, this is my body. 
Matthew 26, 27. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to him saying, drink ye all of it. All right, 26, 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which will be shed for the many remission of sins. You don't even belong to you. You're sitting up there tripping, doing what you want to do. You don't even belong with to you. You was bought with a price. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the power of God. And he said, 20, last verse. Matthew 26 and 29, he said, but I say unto you, I would not drink henceforth of the fruit of the vine until that day I drink new wine with you in my father's kingdom. What am I saying? That was the reading of word. Plus I got some more. God said that don't worry about it. He will drink new wine with you. All you got to do is stay the course, stay in faith. Come on, somebody. Paul said it is finished. I have fought the good fight. You're going to have to fight. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I, I know you didn't want to fight because to be honest with you, the flesh want to feel good you want to feel good that's why some of you do what you do how you do what you do but the bible says that in this world you should have much tribulation but i have overcome the world and so should you say the lord oh come on somebody oh this is not a cakewalk i'm so sorry to tell you i know you thought it was i did too truth be told i thought when i got saved i said okay i got it made now huh? the devil was a lie i didn't have it made i just had to learn to grow and mature i just said something some of you are going through something because guess what you're immature oh come on somebody i was too i was on here not even three four day, four years ago tripping I, I was i was always who i was but i had to process i was doing things i had no business saying things i had no business now i, I always said thus said the law but i went a little bit too far and i, I admit I ain't no sense in lying about nothing but as i am growing in the lord okay god no just say what i said to say i don't need your opinion they don't need that. They need me. They don't need you, Deanna. No, no, no. You understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. So let God be God all by himself. So let me continue. This is called the kiss of Judas. Matthew 26, 47 to 56. And so he said, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, suddenly arrived. Suddenly arrived. He didn't suddenly arrive. They planned that. A large mob with swords and clubs was with him from the chief priests and the elders. Pharisees and Sadducees will always send them in. I just said something, y'all better, y'all better understand what time it is, okay, y'all play games. His betrayal had given them a sign, the one I kiss, he's the one, arrest him. So he went right up to Jesus and said, greetings, Rabbi. Wow, called him teacher and kissed him. Don't you understand they're going to kiss you? Mm, y'all ain't ready for me. Friend, Jesus asked him, why have you come? Like Jesus didn't know, right? Then they came up, took hold of Jesus, and arrested him. At that moment, one of those with Jesus reached out. Y'all knew that was Paul. I mean, Peter, he took and he um, took the sword. He struck the high priest's slave and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said, put away your sword back in its place. Because who take up a sword should perish by the sword. Oh, come on, somebody. He said, or do you think that I cannot call on my father? Hallelujah. I love that part. He said, because he will provide me with more than oh come on somebody hallelujah oh i get excited i get excited he said i will um call on my father and he can provide me with more than 12 legions of angels how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that it must happen this way oh come on somebody and that was the word of god i want to encourage you it must happen that way because god can stop anything at any time but god told me to tell you you got to take up your cross that's all we did was trade trade, trade places with jesus Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. So you have to take up your cross. Oh, come on, somebody. And as he suffered, so will you. And as he have to go through what he went through, you have to go through. But God said, I am with you, Lord, always, even into death. Let me tell you something. Don't worry about Judas. Because let me tell you what happened to Judas. Judas went in a field and hung himself. Oh, come on, somebody. You worrying about what they doing, how they did it, when they did it, and why they did it. God said, pray for them. Bless them and curse them not. Hallelujah to his name. He said, because I got this. I got this this until this day that field is called the field of blood and no one has ever lived on that field woe unto them saith the lord what am i saying in this part of your life sh shut your mouth come on somebody hallelujah i know it's hard because i got a big mouth too sometimes mm, let's tell the truth up in here i'm learning I got this, Deanna. Everything is not your battle. For the battle is the Lord, said the Lord. Your position, now let me tell you why the church ain't got no power. We're trying to answer that thing and do everything ourselves. We get on Facebook and we talk about people. We plot, we plan. I'm talking about us as a new unit. Come on, somebody, because that's how God sees us as the children of Israel. When our position is to pray and fast and watch the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Shut your mouth in this season and watch God work. Telling you what God say. Yeah, I know it hurts. Yes, it's not fair. Yes, yeah, ugly. And and if they had caught you twenty years ago, well, yeah, it'd be on like butter pecan. 
but that is not who you are today, said the Lord. Remember, Jesus opened not his mouth. He humbled himself. He was showing us how to do that thing, y'all. Come on, somebody. That's just not a Bible and, and stories. He was showing us. He was the forerunner. He was showing us this is how you do it. This is how you will do it. Hallelujah. And he was the son of God. Who are you? Stop acting crazy. Let them do what they do. And pray for him. And watch God deliver you. Watch God heal you. Hallelujah. Watch God anoint you. Watch God appoint you. And you know what God told me to tell you? The remnant, the remnant, the remnant. God is watching you. <laughs> Pass the test. Because right now, he's sifting. Who is his and who is not? Who can be trusted and who can't? Are you going to pass the test, said the Lord? Hallelujah, I feel the power of God up in here. Woo! All right. All right. Woo! Yeah, I'm on one. I've been full of the Holy Ghost, and God is doing something. Let him do it. No, no, it don't feel good. In Corinthians it says, Now therefore no chastening feel good, but afterwards the peaceable fruit. God wants to change your fruit. Because I don't care what you say, I don't care how much big of a ministry, how much money you got. What do people see? What is in your fruit? Is it good fruit? Can they eat from your table? Or is it rotten? Will it heal or will it kill? Ooh, write that in the comments. Will it heal or will it kill your spirit? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ooh, all right. All right. All right. I got to get up off of here because, um, ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> God is good. Glory be to God. So, God bless you. God keep you. And understand thank you lord i hear you. you know what god told me to tell you before i get off here you're being pressed like the olive mm. Ooh, that's it that's it that's it hallelujah i feel you god i hear you god guess what he just got through saying hallelujah he said you're supposed to feel the pressure he allowing them to apply pressure that's why they're doing what they're doing in the world come on somebody y'all feel that pressure come on somebody hallelujah i feel the power of god because i feel it you feel that pressure it's, it's pushing it's pushing it's pushing you into your destiny so two things going to happen. Either you're going to back up and go coward or you're going to be who God has called you to be. That man and woman of God. That he's predestined you, ordained you, and will sustain you to be. Because when God called you, oh, let me tell you something. What's birthed in the flesh, you got you, you to gotta sustain that. That's why some of you wearing yourself out. Nah, God didn't do all that. And you lying to people talking about, that's God, that ain't God. Or you wouldn't be tired. That's how people commit suicide. That's not of God. Y'all wonder why? Because they're trying to make it happen. And then they can't handle what happens. Ooh, I just said something. Don't you understand what the enemy is doing? The enemy is, is trying to stress you. He's trying to make you commit suicide. He's trying to... He, the Bible says in Daniel that, that, that he's, he's, trying to, he's trying to wear you out. But God says, I've come that you might have life and life more abundantly. But you're going to have to do what you got to do. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to get on the threshing floor before me in the secret place. But no, y'all want to be on Facebook all the time. Y'all want to be, yeah. I see everybody. I see everybody. Everybody. Look, look. Let's just scroll. The devil is a lie. I ain't doing that. I used to. Can't lie. I'm not going to lie about nothing. I used to do a lot of stuff, to be told. And yes, save. That's another thing. That's why the church can't get healed. People, men and women of God are acting like they're, they're not doing that. Then they're hiding and they're living two different lives. When you really start being real with God, God will make you tell it all. Y'all be thinking I want to tell my business? God is making me be transparent because that's what you need in this hour. Yes, I have tests. Yes, I have trials. Yes, I have tribulations. But I have overcome by being real with God. God, I surrender. God, teach me how to do that thing. I don't know how to do it. Teach me. Can help me keep me. I could preach to you, but 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 Paul say unless I myself, you have to first make sure your salvation is real with fear and trembling, said the Lord. You got too many dipping and dabbing and don't know what's happening. That's why the body weak. We're supposed to build up each other's spirit. But you can't give what you ain't got. And most of them don't have the anointing. Or they got they got this. Or they got this all day long. <laughs> Let me get up over here. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldier for that is who you are. You saw how I did that just like a real soldier. I almost broke my arm. I'm trying to rebuke in the name of Jesus. I did it so quick. That's the power of the Holy Ghost in me. <laughs> all right. God bless you guys. I love you guys. Have a blessed night.
Yes, yes, Apostle Dominique, there is a line being drawn. And I'm going to be honest with you. We can all know who is who. We see you. You can't front. Not forever. Wisdom and discernment going to tell on you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, in this hour, I'm going to end with this. You're going to expose yourself, said the Lord. How you doing? So God bless y'all. Have a blessed night.